a video as important as the one that we just watched deserves a sequel. So what if I have a, a fourth degree polynomial and I want to know what the result is if I divide it by x minus 5? Let's go right to it. Synthetic division invites me to do the following. Coefficients, 1, negative 5, negative 5, 28, negative 15. Potential 0, 5. Process, carry down your 1. Multiply. Combine. Multiply. Combine. Multiply. And let me make my remainder column. Combine. That's a 3. Multiply. Combine. Remainder, 0. Magic. Now let's give everything a degree. This is going to be 1x cubed plus 0x squared minus 5x plus 3. That is our factor, our other factor other than x minus 5. And so we have confirmed that 5 should be a 0 because the remainder is 0. So check it with the remainder theorem with an evaluation. 5 to the fourth power minus 5 times 5 to the third power minus 5 times 5 squared. That's supposed to be a 2. Squared plus 28 times 5 minus 15. And let's check. Magic. And 625 minus 625 is 0. 140 minus 15 is 125. 125 minus 125 is 0. G of 5 is 0. By the remainder theorem, our remainders match up. Factor theorem says that if G of 5 is 0, then x equals 5 is a 0. All right, which we are now going to verify that graphically. When I graph this, guess what? It crosses the x-axis here at x equals 5. So one last thing. Maybe we can talk about the box. Do we have enough time? Uh, yeah, sure. We have half the time. The box. The box. Here it goes. So the box is just another way of factoring this uh, without using synthetic division, without checking with remainder theorem, without using long division. So many ways to do one task to find this factor. Uh, what multiplied to x gives you x to the fourth? Well, it has to be x cubed. Uh, x cubed times negative 5 gives me negative 5x cubed. I need a total of negative 5x cubed, which means this has to be 0x cubed, which means that this has to be 0x squared, which would give me 0x squared here. And I need a total of a negative 5x squared term. So that means that negative 5x squared has to be here. To, uh, x times what would give me negative 5x squared? Well, that would have to be a negative 5x. Negative 5x times negative 5 would give me positive 25x. Sorry for my 5 there, positive 25x. I need a total of 28x's, which means this must, must be a 3x. x times what gives me 3x? That has to be a positive 3. And so 3 times negative 5 is negative 15. It's the neatest thing. x cubed minus 5x plus 3, which we found over here. That is your uh, factor. That is your second factor. Uh, so what, what about that, the fact that that's the second factor? Well, that means that that uh, cubic polynomial, x cubed minus 5x plus 3. The lag is real. Minus 5x plus 3. That cubic polynomial contains uh, the other uh, potential zeros. It could, uh, because it's a cubic, it could contain three other complex zeros. And as it turns out, it actually does. Because when we graph this, we found the zero at x equals 5. There are one, two, three other uh, irrational zeros that actually can be found. And the important thing to know right now is that all of those zeros are contained inside of that cubic polynomial. Everything that we did right here was simply to verify whether or not 5 was a 0. We did that graphically. We did that algebraically several ways with synthetic division. Um, and with the remainder theorem, we uh, interpreted it with the factor theorem. And this is an all-around great problem.